Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Seas. In the last episode we found the lady, or the black lady I guess was her name, and we managed to escape with our lives which is impressive enough. Today I feel like we need to try and get the ray drenched cider for the man in Vendorblight for the Neath Bow, which means I need to go and find myself some blemigans and we all know how much everyone loves blemigans but before i do that let me just buy some fuel because uh well ah we, we are running out why do i i have 27 outlandish artifacts good lord in order for us to get some blemigans though we need we need firkins of honey so we're gonna have to go back to london i do i have a quest for the blind bruiser i oh my god if i do it's been it's been so long uh Oh no. Uh, it's not Empire of Hands, where is it? It's gonna be... Menaces? Any suspicion? No, objective. Polythrame. Let's, uh, let's make sure we just quickly pop the polythrame here, otherwise it would be a very, very painful return to London. I, I've only ever upset the blind bruiser once and it was a bad day, so let's make sure we don't do that again. So, I found my notebook that told me the stations that I went to for the last load of Blemigans, and uh, so hopefully I can work around that and try and find some of the places we haven't been. I had a brainwave that maybe we can deliver them under the sea, because I definitely didn't deliver them anything under the sea before. So I'm going to check a few of the undersea ports. I know we need to go to a place like Rosegate because uh, we can pick up a port report for Lower Barnes at the same time. You know, two birds with one stone and all that. Let's get the hold here. A stout crate. I think I'm wearing my headphones backwards. No, oh, I'm not wearing my headphones backwards. It's just the sounds sound really strange. That's strange. I'm pretty sure it's actually impossible for me to wear these headphones backwards, but... Where is Polyframe? There it is. Yes, we need Firkins of Honey. I think the only place I can get them is London. I feel like the Isle of Cats would probably have Firkins of Honey. I know they have Red Honey. Normal Honey? Two? Hey? Maybe? I don't think so. Luckily, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I, I'm not really sure where to start. When it comes to this, uh, finding the Blemigans, but hopefully, I know we only need seven. Other intelligence, while we're here, port report. Uh, da da da, click the Cheerio Man's cargo, there we go, thousand echoes, sweet. Let's go back to London, and it's, then it's down to the utter Utterstrom. Uh, at least my terror's not too high, and uh, luckily, because our ship goes so fast, I might be able to do at least a few of them in one episode before running out of time. How bad can it be? The first place I think I'm going to go is, like, Anth, because it's quite close to, yeah. Maybe Anth? Maybe I can go to Lower Barnet and stuff, I'm not entirely sure. So, uh, I'm guessing a lot of the places don't have Lemigan in them. And I know some places, just a really bad idea to drop a Lemigan in them. But hopefully I don't accidentally do that. It does seem like the kind of thing that I would do, let's be honest. Uh, walk into a station, drop a load of Blemigans, and then everyone hates me and they refuse to talk to me again, but I guess we'll find out. I think we are getting to the point where we, we are running out of stories outside of Captain Ending stories, so that's it's quite scary in a way, I suppose. Because we still have the immortality quest. I really do need to upgrade my stats before I actually do that. I have so many secrets. I probably should look up a way of getting more secrets more reliably. As I know, I've heard talk of people farming secrets in the end game. Alt of fabric, spider silk. But I don't actually know how to do it. I've just uh, it's come up in comments and stuff before. Moody's light. I wonder who Moody is. I reckon he was very upset. A particularly moody man. Or was he a ray of sunshine? And he is a lighthouse, after all. 
Pirate Frigate, I'm gonna ignore you. I don't need to fight you, Pirate Frigate. I wonder if we can give, put a Blemigan in the salt lines. I don't think I did that last time. I've, I've moved the book now, so I can't see. Mm. Oh well. <laughs> I'm sure so. I don't remember reading the salt lines. Is that, uh, is that another pirate penis? No, it's the Alcius class Corvette. I shall fight you because you are worth good money. I've been outmaneuvered. This doesn't bode well. Spin the ship. Wonderful. Investigate the wreckage. Rescue the pirate poet for 300 echoes. And another a pail of parabola linen. Worth a good amount of money, that is right there. Almost at London. Wow, she was really close to London that time. I wonder if I can... I haven't docked at Quaker's Haven for a long time, or uh, Martin Island. I if that's still being taken over by the uh, the glowy eye people. <laughs> uh, accidentally succumbing to the liberation of... Uh, the liberation of night? Are they the liberation of night? No, they're not the liberation of night, are they? They're the other people. Oh no, there's too many factions. I get them all confused. Let's hope I have space in my hold. Uh, claim messages from the harbour master. Over the cargo. Money. Right. Do we have space in the hold? Oh, we have eight life specimens. I think I can donate these to the alarming scholar, so I am going to do just that. Uh, I think I can anyway. A ah, life specimen. It's either a life. Yeah, it was either here or the. Um, Labyrinth of Tigers. Ooh, lost one life specimen. Your favours of the antiquarian is increasing. You flick the blanket away, and the creature in the container shrieks away from the light. The scholar clasps hands in delight. Oh, 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 it's still moving. I can think of uses for this. Would you like another one? This is actually quite good money. And I need to clear out the space in my inventory. And I wonder what happens if we increase our favours with the Antiquarian enough. I don't know. I'm sure there's some reason for it. Three left. And... One more. Let's hope I don't need these for something else. That's usually how it goes. I don't think I've unlocked anything new with her. Or him. Them? Oh no. Uh, do I need to repair my ship? Kind of, but yeah, be alright. Let's just knock off the terror while we're here. Spend some time with my family. And... Buy ourselves some firkins of honey. What do I actually have in my hold? I, I can sell these pails of parabola linen, can't I? And the spider silk. Should I pick up a cask of mushroom wine? Yes. Because if I ever go to Nook, I'll have it. <laughs> I know I need to deliver seven, but maybe we should get more than seven because of me being me. Okay, let's go to the utter shrimp. Uh, I don't really have enough room for more fuel, so we're going to have to fly by our heels on this one and hopefully... And not run out of fuel, because that would be embarrassing, wouldn't it? Especially since I'm probably considered some sort of seasoned player at this point. I mean, I know I'm still completely useless in a lot of things, but I have played this game quite a lot. The exact amount of hours, I'm unsure. But if every episode is half an hour, which they're meant to be, and I've done over a hundred episodes, it's at least 50 hours, so it's a lot of time to be spending playing Sunless Seas. Uh, 
right, this room is this way. I'd like to, like, you know, quick burn, but... I don't mind, like, I'd blow the bloody ship up. We're just gonna leisurely go over, and we're still going at a rapid pace. The problem with having such an, a fast engine is that I've just got used to this being the speed. If I ever go back to a slower engine, oh my lord, it's gonna be painful. Something awaits. Down the salt lines. Cut it relatively close. Hmm, maybe go to Ant first is a terrible idea. Because it's quite far away now. For some reason my brain was like, we'll be starting in London. Uh we're not we're not starting in London, we're gonna be starting in the Utter Shroom. Because that's where we're picking up the Blemigans. Did I need anything else for The man, I've forgotten his name, he's kind of embarrassing. The man in Vendorblight, for the Neathbow. I think the only thing we needed was the Rage Ranch Cider. Nice, I, I am now actually questioning. This is how I got the Rage Ranch Cider, right? I remember something about Irem. I wonder if we can put a Blem again in Irem. That could be a laugh. <laughs> I'm trying to think of other places where it could be funny to put a blowing in. The problem with it being funny at the Chapel of Lights, maybe? Actually, that would be funny. Turn him into a little candle. The Utter Shroom. Right, here we go. Honey, a shroomer explains. Everyone wants honey. Life on the Utter Shroom is unvarying and occasionally deadly poisonous. The shroomers are desperate for the diversion that prisoner's honey can bring. But vague about what they can pay in return. Supplies, though, at least. Blemigans. The shroomers pile up slabs of sweet, moave shroom flesh. It's nourishing, although it does taste rather like muddy horse. They also generously throw in a blemigan. A whistling, eyeless, mobile fungus thing. Problems? Throw it in the sea. No room? Throw it in the sea. He shrugs. Probably it will swim. If not, Plenty of room in the sea. God's sake. Uh, that's one, two, three, four, five. Six. I wonder. I can't remember how I hand this in when I actually get enough proper get. Oh god, here we go. I'm throwing supplies in the sink. Oh, I sure hope these Blemigans don't cause trouble on my ship. That would be I have done this before, and I don't remember anything particularly nasty happening with all these Blemigans, but it is docile after all. Uh, I don't see anything that is for. Propagation, but I guess we'll find out. Okay. So, if I was... If I was a Blemigan, where would I want to go? Hey, we could always... Poor Carnelian. I know I said I was going underwater. Wait, where's Rose Water? Is that... There. That's a good place to go first, right? Yeah, let's go there. Thinking maybe Port Carnelian is a good place to go. I mean, they wouldn't hate me, would they? I mean, the tigers might be a bit upset. But then again, he'll give us something to play with. They are just big cats, after all. You know what? Let's go check Port Carnelian. I don't think I bought one in Port Carnelian. It's not. It's not coming up in my head as one that I put. Let's stay out of the wax. Is that the wax wind? I think that's the wax wind. We don't want to be messing with that. I have enough trouble with that in Fallen London, thank you very much. I've been doing a lot of sailing recently because of the evolution storyline, so... The wax wind comes up a lot. Oh no, it's those bloody birds. Evasive maneuvers. Don't you bloody dare, birds. 
as he thinks. What can't you hear? Anything for about a blemigan in here. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, there is. Let's go. Put a blemigan ashore. The heat of the colony thrills the blemigan. It sits quivering by the port rail. It trips over its own tendrils and its eagerness to advance. It heads straight for the governor's house. Oh dear. Or perhaps the jungle behind it. Not your problem. Either way. Okay. Just write down that I delivered one to Port Carnelia. One down. Six to go. Yeah. Uh, the poor governor. He's not going to know what hit him. Should I pick up a port report here? Just talk to the tiger of the blue bazaar. There we go. Okay. Let's go to Rosewood Great next. I get a funny feeling I'm not going to be able to get all seven in this one episode, but I'll, I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. I'm going to just quickly just, you know, hide from these birds because they terrify me. I, prob I probably shouldn't be terrified of them. I have guns on the ship now, but... Oh, hello. I'm in a current. I just, I, I'm stuck being terrified of things that have hurt me badly in the past. Like Mount Nomad. Oh god, I haven't hunted Mount Nomad. That, that should be one of the things we have to do before we, uh, we finish here. Kill Mount Nomad. That would be quite the impressive feat for my captain. Alright, I'm just trying not to crash into things. Oh no, Adam's way. I don't think I got any recent news because, uh, like a bit of an idiot, I forgot to pick it up. I might already have recent news. We could get into Adam's way. What if they want Blemigans? I mean, the real question is why would they not want Blemigans? Everyone should have a Blemigan in their house. Oh my god, what is happening? The shawl of fish. A lot of loot around here, good lord. Alright. Rose water should be up here. Or Roseway. Roseway? Oh no, I've actually forgotten the name of the blooming port. I'm not doing very well today when it comes to remembering things. I think I'm getting a cold or something. I don't feel. I don't feel 100%. It hasn't affected my voice quite so badly. I think I sound a bit nasally more. More nasal than normal, but. Could be worse. Hopefully, I just sleep and it goes away. I woke up with a really bad headache. That's never a good sign. Fuel do we have left? Nine. Okay, we're not doing too bad on fuel. It should be right in front of me, right? I'm paranoid about crashing into things. Huh? Could it not be right here? I feel like that's a light ship, huh? I've forgotten where it is, haven't I? Hmm. Ooh, Varkus! I haven't been to Varkus in a very long time. I wonder if they want to blow again. They could have sworn rope. Gate. Rose water was right here. It there. That's a light ship as well. Am I just being ridiculously dumb? It does happen. <clears throat> Excuse me. I could have swore it was over here though, in this part of the map. Oh, there's Rosegate right there. In the Reef of Roses. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I didn't see that coming, did I? Ah, <sighs> well, what well, bloody grumble, grumble, bloody grumble. How many hours was it that I was played this game? We've even done the entire quest. Yeah, it is a light ship. Wow, I didn't see that coming. Uh, do you know what? Let's see if we can go down to Barkus? Sure, why, why not? 
I don't know if they'll let me in or not. I feel like they have a weird entry requirement, but while I'm here, I could also go to like like Astaval Hideaway. I think I've ever delivered Blemigans there either. But I am I have just accidentally picked the really far away. What is that? That's a fully grown jellyfish? I don't think I've ever killed a fully grown jellyfish. Like genuinely. Oh dear. Oh dear, it's coming. All reverse, thank you. Keep it going. There we go. All clear, douse the lights. It was a colossus of toxic tentacles, capped with hardened, cramming goo. Now, it's a smear on the ocean's surface. Jillyfish dissolve in minutes once they're dead. You can either scoop up what's left, it might be edible. Parts of it might be edible. Parts of it might be anything. Or we can let it disperse. Oh, so it's the same as... Um... It's just the same as a little jellyfish, it's just bigger. Well, let's let it disperse. It looks very like flourishing of years. The grand shrine face of visage. What about the eyes, the sternness of the mouth. Perhaps only that it stares at the roof, just as flourishing of years does. Now it dissolves. You could swear it's mouthing a word. Home? Hmm. Interesting. Varka should be down here. I think Adam's Way the ones that is the one that needs recent news. I think Varka's I can just walk in, but there's a time limit here or something? You have to leave or, or am I thinking of Adam's Way? Oh my god, I it's been such a long time. Returning to Varkas, the walled city of Varkas is a tangle of green vines and luminescent fungal flowers. I can put, I can put a blemmer in a floor. Will the guard permit it? Let's try it. The guard watches as the Blemigan whirls into the darkness. She shakes her head. All of your outland pollution, Tamas. Mahir will see to it, I imagine. Well, that counts as one to propagation, so to me, that's a victory. That's two down out of seven. Uh, I'm just going to leave. I'll get a poor report while I'm here. I don't need to mess around here. Can I promote by anything? Nope. Okay, well, back to the mission of delivering Blumigans. Uh, maybe I go. The hood? Maybe the hood? I like going to the hood. Let's go to Astaval. That's a nice place for a Blumigan to be, right? Not a bit of sunlight, unless it's going to, like, you know, burst into flames. What is the small chance it'll burst into flames if we go to Astaval? I'm just going to head to the Melting Isles first so I can lower my terror. It makes sense. This place. I'm also running out of fuel. Oh my god. Pay attention to your fuel, man. The Fathom's King Hold. The Fathom King's Hold would have a Blemigan. Would he want a Blemigan? I don't see why he wouldn't. I don't remember seeing a Blemigan propagation thing there, but that doesn't actually mean much. I'm going to kill this pirate frigate on the grounds that uh, in my drop fuel. Loon Scala. Hey, one, fi one supply is two fuel. And a Firkin of Prisoners, honey. Wonderful. I still stand by the right. The right side of the map has some of the coolest music. Like the Sunless Seas soundtrack, I said this like every 20 episodes I think, but it's just one that you never get bored of it. 
never get bored of it. It's just brilliant. Uh, eat, drink, be merry. You, you don't. Well, you guys don't want to blow again, do you? I mean, they do. Oh, wait. The college is already a crumbling mess. More plant than village. Unleashing a Blemigan here will only hasten the decline. I'm not doing that. That might actually make them hate me, and I, I use this place too much. That's... Where's the next closest place? Yeah, Astabal. Let's go to Astabal. Let's try Astabal. Why not? Oh, wait. I need fuel. Uh... Who sells... Oh, wait, no. Fathom King's, Fathom King's Hold is where I wanted to go. The hut to buy fuel, Fathom King's Hold, and then Astaval. That seems like a good, seems like a good show. Because I want to see if, if they'll have a Blemigan. I want to see if the hut will have a Blemigan. I don't like the idea of accidentally making the hut hate me, though. I'll see what it says. I'll see what it says. If it says anything along the lines of it will cause problems, I won't do it. I don't see why it would cause problems. I mean, it's only a mushroom. And again, it is a carefully designed underwater ecosystem. Throwing in a bunch of lemigans might not might not have a desired effect. Uh oh, ow! I'm gonna blame the current on the ow. Oh god, the current is pushing me in the direction that I did not expect it to. And let's. Uh... Oh, we only have a 30% chance to succeed? Uh, I'm not sure that's worth the risk. Let's not risk it. I'm, I'm, hmm. Because I don't want to, I do not want to lose the hood. It's like the best place to lose her. Let's just go to the Fathom King's Hole. Might be an option there. I didn't buy fuel. Dumb dumb. That's why you went there. Almost a painful experience. Almost. Okay, we don't want to fight the uh, the Triskel again. So far, I'm not doing a very good job. I was hoping we get like. Th I suppose if I get three in this episode, that kind of sets me up to be able to get four in the next. That, that was not so bad. I am running out of time. <laughs> a lot of this episode has just been me uh, pondering. I know, like, at least I know I can try into hood if I run out of places. I think with all the underwater places, I should be okay. Really hope it. I don't. I don't really care if I annoy the Fathom King. To be honest, he's a bit of a bastard. It's not really his fault, you know. King of the Dead at Sea and all that. On a Blemigan. Nah. It's dark and damp here, with many crevasses where it can hide. The Blemigan should flourish, so long as it avoids the Fathom King's notice. Oh, an unexpected welcome. A gift from the Mycelian Mother. The porter says dispassionately, The Fathom King will be pleased. Yeah, for your trouble. Wonderful. Let me just write that down. We got a free drowning pearl as well. Go to Astaval. That'll be the final place we check in this episode, and then that'll be it. And then that will that will be four. That's over halfway. I think that's four, right? I can count. Yes. <laughs> Just a bit. I wonder if Hideaway is one as well. Hmm, Hideaway might be one too.
Ooh, these riffs. <laughs> the sheer fact that I had to go into every, like, nearly all of them. Good lord. It's gonna haunt me, that is. It's the valve. Just up here. Kind of expected to see it by now. No, okay, no, it's still going. There it is. <laughs> I don't, maybe? I, I'm kind of expecting the, the Blemigan to just burst into flames because, you know, nothing likes sunlight. Astaval? Put the Blemigan ashore. Fallen fruit nourishes the soil. Perhaps this will give the timid mushroom strength to resist the sun rays. Let's find out. It bounces swiftly across the sun hot sand, using a minimum of tendrils on the scorching beach. Somewhat shriveled, it snuggles into the shade of a fruit rich tree. It seems unwilling to go further. But propagation has to With that, I think I'm going to end this episode here, and we shall find more places to drop off the Blemigans in the next episode. But thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, it really helps the channel grow. And as always, I'll see you next time. <laughs>